Hey YouTubers, this is a reverse osmosis uh, storage tank. It's 16 years old. <clears throat> um, I'm going to cut it open. We're going to see what's on the inside. We're going to do this for two reasons. One, I want to see how it works. Uh, I know there's a rubber diaphragm in it. Uh, so uh, we're going to cut it open and see how that's built in there. But I also want to see what, if there's any sediment, calcium, slime, sludge, anything like that built up on the on the walls of this tank. If there is, that'll kind of tell us, you know, how good a five-stage reverse osmosis water filter system works. I bought this in 2002. You can see the label, and. Uh, We've used it every single day for 16 years. I just replaced it because it would only put out about two cups of water. And even after filling the uh, reservoir back up, you know, repressurizing it with about seven, eight PSI of air, uh, it still it, it would still only put out about two cups of water. So I'm sure there's a hole in the diaphragm. Um, we're going to see if we can find that. We're going to see how the diaphragm is actually installed in there. If I don't screw it up too bad cutting this thing open um, but first I'm going to take a bore scope and we're going to look down this hole and we're just going to see what what that shows us and then I'm going to cut it open and I'll come back and we'll see what the uh, inside looks like if it's clean like I'm suspecting it will be or should be then that to me is evidence that a reverse osmosis water filter setup does actually work um, the the system I've got is a five stage. It's got uh, uh, the first stage is a sediment filter, then it has two carbon filters, then it has the actual reverse osmosis membrane, and then it's got another carbon filter after that. So there's five total filters, um, and we have used this, like I say, for 16 years. Every single day, we use it to cook with. Uh, we use it for drinking water. Uh, yeah, is it's just been used, you know, a lot. So, if you've ever cut open a water heater, you know how much calcium builds up on the inside of a water heater. Um, so we're going to see what the inside of this looks like, and we're going to see how good a reverse osmosis filter setup works. So give me a second. I'm going to uh, hook up the bore scope. We're going to see what it looks like inside, and then uh, we're going to start cutting it open. Okay, so what I'm using here to look inside is a, uh, it's actually an automotive diagnostic tool, so it also has a bore scope uh, function. So we're going to take a look at that, see what we can see. Looks like, I guess that black is the diaphragm. Let me see if I can get it over on the side. Okay. Looks like the... Let's try to get the glare. I don't know how good that's coming in, but it's looking really super clean. I mean, it still looks. All right, guys, we're going to start cutting in this thing. Uh, probably not going to show that. I'm just going to get her done. You know, I'll come back and we'll take a look inside. What the plan is? It looks like I'm assuming this little indention right here. I don't know if you can see that. It's probably where the diaphragm is uh, you know what retains the diaphragm so I'm going to try to cut somewhere in this area here probably up closer to the top maybe about half inch uh, from where the transition is here and I'm just going to take a cut off wheel go all the way around it get it cut off we'll come back we'll take a look inside we'll see what's inside a storage tank and we'll see how clean it is that'll show us uh, you know how good a what reverse osmosis water filter system works 
All right, <clears throat> we got it uh, cut open. There's the top. And I didn't didn't expect this, but there's actually a plastic liner in it. I guess that makes sense. Um, uh, perfectly clean. There's absolutely zero buildup of any kind. There's no sludge, no slime, no no calcium, no nothing. Here's the inside of the actual tank. You see the bladder right there. Let me get some light. I mean, it's, it's clean. There's no kind of slime or sludge. Nothing. You can see the plastic liner. Let's see if I can hold the light. And kind of, there's actually a plastic liner that lines the metal. How they weld it. With that plastic liner and that diaphragm in there without melting it I have no idea but point is other than some metal particles in there from from cutting it and I'll show you how I cut it open here in just a second but uh, I mean you can you can see the plastic the diaphragm um, what I might do for fun You can see that little nub right there. That's the that's the uh, port to, to air it up. We'll, we'll throw some air in this thing and see what happens. Might pop this whole thing out of here. But uh, yeah, other than some metal particles in there from from where I cut it, it's it's perfectly clean. And this is the side that the water goes on. You know, the top goes on top, and then the water goes down to to the t you know from the top pushes down the diaphragm from the water pressure. We got about 35 pounds of water pressure here. And you got about seven pounds on the other side of this diaphragm of air. So as that 35 pounds of water pressure pushes the diaphragm down, it's compressing that six or seven pounds of air that's on the other side even more. And then whenever you hit your little spigot for your filtered water, that diaphragm pushes up and then pushes the water back out of the, the uh, top there and uh, that's how you get your water but anyway so let me show you how I cut it and then I'm going to throw some air on this and we'll see if we can pop this thing out of here or whatever's going to happen I was going to use a cutoff wheel and then I thought you know let me see if I can get it to uh, see if, I, if, if it'll actually fit on my uh, horizontal bandsaw and it did it fit on here just perfect literally took me less than five minutes I mean really I'd say probably three minutes to cut it cut the top off so yeah there's the uh, for those of you who don't know how this works you put in you put whatever part in here and then you uh, turn it on drop that down and it just slices right through metal pipe tubing you name it slice through this like butter so that was good I, I didn't want to have to fight with it very long so let me uh, get the air hose all hooked up and then I'll be back okay so this is what I'm going to use to air it up with I've got a little automotive you know tire pump uh, not pump but uh, air nozzle with a, a, a controllable lever so I can actually kind of feather the air in here and see see you know what ends up happening so here we go I'm going to kind of stay out of the way here have it. Okay, I'm gonna 
I suspected this thing of leaking because it would not give us any more uh, any more than a couple cups of water. It's supposed to be a, uh, I think four and a half gallon usable uh, system. We was only getting a couple cups out of it. So I don't know if you can see that bladder all aired up there. I'm gonna get some, some leak check, spray on there and see if I can see any bubbles coming out of it. Okay, I was not able to find any bubbles coming out, <clears throat> but we've only got well, we got less than a pound on it. I mean, it's not even enough to register. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep pumping a little bit of air in it. I got safety glasses on in case this thing pops, which it probably will. Okay, got four pounds on it right there. Let's see if we can find anything now. Nothing at all. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Um, let me get back here. I'll keep pumping it up. Six pounds. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I want to go any more than that. I don't know what kind of... Um, you know, concussion this thing would have. That is the bladder of a reverse osmosis water filter. And as you can see, even right here, I mean, it is perfectly clean. Perfectly clean. 16 years worth of water flowing into this and there is not so much as any kind of sludge my hands are a little bit dirty so just from handling everything out here in the garage while I was doing this but yeah 16 year old tank that's been used pretty much every day and so not so much as any kind of sediment, sludge, slime, calcium, nothing. So that convinces me that we're definitely getting good quality water to, to drink and, you know, feed my family. Oh, and by the way, if you ever, anybody that wants to buy one of these, I'm going to go ahead and plug the company I bought it from because I just looked them up before I came back out here. But 16 years ago when I bought this, I paid $150 for it. And it's a five-stage reverse osmosis water filter system. It just mounts underneath your sink. Super easy to put in. Uh, I did it myself. Probably took an hour or two. I can't remember. And uh, they're still $150. So comes with the tank. Comes with the filter setup. But the company is FilterDirect.com. And uh, they've got a few different ones. The one th this is just they're simple RO one thirty two um, five. They call it a five gallon, but I think it's really like four or four and a half gallons of usable water. And uh, it has one hundred and fifty bucks. It's like, actually it's a little cheaper than that now. It's like a hundred. I don't know. I can't remember. One hundred and forty four or something. Let the air out of it and see if it goes back down to its normal uh, 
happy place. Yeah, I know you guys wanted me to keep blowing it up until it popped, but I really don't want lacerations on my face or I, I, I put out or anything like that. So you guys are going to have to get your entertainment from someone else. That's the uh, that's the placard on it. We're not going to keep doing that. It's too slow. Let me do this a different way. thing is pressed in there that's what that does well there you have it that's pretty much it the main purpose of this was to see what would what was going to be on the inside of this if it was going to be built up with 16 years worth of slime and sludge and calcium or whatever but it's not and I actually expected to find a leak in that but I didn't so I don't know I don't know why it would only give us a couple cups of water. I, 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 every time I'd air this up to the 7-8 PSI that it calls out, it, that would only last for about a day and it, it would still only give us a couple cups of water. So I don't know. I ordered a new one, put it in. Works like a champ now. We get four gallons easy out of it. So these, these tanks are only about, I think I paid $34 on Amazon for a new one. Same exact one same sticker and everything so they haven't changed but there you have it got a plastic liner inside a steel uh, tank with a bladder all right let's hear what you guys have to say